for YouTube, my name is Techno. Most of you guys should already know this if you already a subscriber. If you aren't and you would like to be, go ahead and take the time and click the subscribe button. No, I'm not a YouTuber that usually posts how to get things free. But some, um, if you got most most of my fan base is Dragon Ball Z and some Naruto and some of my FPS, so therefore I try to give you guys um some little um life hacks, I guess I'm gonna call it, um, on how to get things. So that's with that. But um, let's go, let's go jump into this. How to get Xenoverse Two for free? Now I did do a video on how to get Xenoverse One for free, and it, it got a lot of good, a, a decent amount of um views, but the funny thing was people were telling me they wanted DLCs and some people were having errors. Well, I was going to release videos, but it got to the point I was getting too many of them and I couldn't read every, what everybody wanted, so I wasn't going to be able to get everything that everybody wanted into one video. But for that, that was my mistake because part of it was because I was too lazy to take the time to do it. But as a reward, we're going to do this in verse 2. And I'm trying to be the first person to get this up. One guy has already got it up, but he's only at 5,000, so I got a pretty good chance of catching up to him. So there we go. First thing you want to do is open up your Google Chrome if you're using this on Google Chrome, which if you're not, I recommend you since you could be following on with me as we go. So um, open up your Google Chrome and go to settings. Um, if you don't know where that's at, you just click these three dots and you click settings. It takes you here. Um, then you're going to click advanced settings at the bottom like I did already. And scroll down till you see privacy, which I passed it. Go ahead and uncheck this box, uncheck it to leave it blank. And then you can close out of that. Next thing you want to do, go to YouTube. Hey, look at that. I'm already on it. Um, what I recommend you do is to just get this one. If you don't speak the language, download the language pack. Whatever you do, don't get the beta. Because most of the time, the beta have issues. That's just for people who want to test it out before. And if, but if you're running this on Mac or Linux, or I guess Android, since it's right there, I don't no, this is mainly for Windows. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell this this right now. This is a Windows tutorial. So if you're running this on Windows, you hooray, go ahead and click this download. Now, once you get that installed and everything, you can now exit out of that window. Now you need to get Power ISO, and this is pretty simple. You go to it. It might ask you to get the 64 to 32 bit. Just look in your um what's the name of it to find out which one you, you run. See, it'll ask you 32 or 64. I run 64, so I did 64. You may not run the same thing as me, but if you do, then yeah, go ahead and get it. Um this is just supported operating systems for each one. As you see, 32 has a lot more. But yeah, so I'm running 64 bit, so I got this one. After you get power ISO, you're going to have to do something else with that once you install it. I'll tell you that in a little bit. So you're not needing it right now, so just ignore it. Now, I'm gonna have two links to the game. One is a Zippy Share. I think this one is like a uTorrent link, so once you download it, it should open up uTorrent and it downloads through there. So, I'm gonna do this one first. If you, this this isn't the one that I downloaded, but this is part, it's the same thing. It's just one of them is a uTorrent, one of them downloads through your browser. This is the one I did. Um, I downloaded the one through my browser. And it was, it, it, it took, it, I'm guessing it's gonna take about the same time, so it doesn't matter. But if you download this one, for, if you want to do this one, um, when you download it, it should open up uTorrent. And um, oh, look, I still have uTorrent open. Lucky me, I don't have it in here because, like I said, I didn't download my uTorrent, I didn't download mine to uTorrent. But if you was, you all you need to do is right click, like for start, and then right click again, and then um, put your bandwidth allocation on high. You don't have to put you don't have to put it on high, just like you don't have to do four star. But for some reason, four star always makes it makes it down low as a top priority to me. Um, once you do that, don't close it out like I'm doing right now, since I'm doing that because I'm not like downloading anything. But you will need to keep yours open while you're downloading. Um, and then you're done with this window. But if you um, download yours, do the way I did. Um, I recommend either or. It's no, um, neither one of them is better than the other one to me. But if you don't know, you go through this one, you um, click this link and it'll say, um, it'll just download. Well, technically, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I meant, we can't do that. I already downloaded it. 
um, it take you here. There you go. And then you click access to download, and it takes you here to that thing to that screen I was just on. But since I kind of already, I've already did it today. I have to wait 60 minutes. So whatever I do, whatever you do, guys, when you go to this, if you're gonna do it, go ahead. Because if you don't, you're gonna have a random time to wait, which I think is usually 60 minutes. So yeah, but like I said, eyes and cheap method. I gave you the extra link by putting that zippy share link in so you can always go back to that one both links actually all of these links will be in the description and so once your game is downloaded let it finish when you finish whether it's through uTorn or not whether you did it through my way or the other way basically you're going to go to your downloads and it should be right oh yeah it, oh, okay. I'm sorry guys it kind of sounds like I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm trying to make sure I'm doing this right and not leaving you guys wondering, you know? I'm trying to do, do as less confusing things as I possibly can. All right, but here we go. So if you did it the way I did, it should just give you this file. It should have a disc, and that means because you downloaded Power ISO. So that means you're on track. If you did the YouTube way, since I ain't did that way, I'm guessing it may give you a folder like they used to do, and you open it and it should be in there. But if it gives you this still, hooray. Either way, it's fine. But you basically want to go to this, and like I said, you were going to need to need you're going to need Power ISO later. Up, oh, my friends call you. Hey, Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> kind of in the video right now because I'm kind of trying to show how to get these numbers too so let me call you back as soon as I'm done okay all right sorry guys uh, I had a friend um <laughs> I've been talking talk to him all day so yeah <laughs> but here we go so uh, earlier I told you guys that we were going that I was going to come back to power ISO because you're going to have to do something well guys you're going to be pretty disappointed but what you've got to do is if you've never had power iso before they're going to make you restart your computer because you need to set your number of jobs to any of these numbers whichever number you want i usually do one or two or three i already mean you do three so you can have three but once you click it it's going to tell you restart your computer before it actually works so take this time really quick to restart your computer and i'll be right here waiting for you guys or you can just start the video when you get back but anyways once you're done with that now um you should be able to set this to three drives or two drives or any any of them and like uh, you go back to your download folder of course and you um hover over power iso and you do mount to any of any of them jobs that you made once it does that just over here on your this, this pc go to whichever job you did so here let me show you an example all right so once you restart your computer used to go here right click on it hover over power iso set, set number of drives i already got mine as three now you do mount i'm gonna put in e you um go here uh, i'm sorry um you go to this pc which is right here and now you go to right there when you open that oh you don't want to click it like that your best way to do it is to click it over here. See, it takes you to the folder. So now we're here. This is the, um, this is where you don't really want to pay attention and follow me. So what you want to do is open up your setup. When you open this up, it's going to play some crappy music. So get ready. Oh, there it goes. Just click pause. Like I said, you probably can't hear it because I cut my system sounds off because you know it was gonna be some sounds coming up anyway so um yeah what I recommend you do is leave this like it is it usually sends your own um, game to your pro program files it automatically creates a desktop and it in the start this is the name of it and it creates a start what's the name of it? um if you guys know what you're doing and you want to mess with this go ahead but if you don't don't touch this what you want to do is just click install I've already did it so I don't want to click it and I recommend you just leave your computer alone come back after about two hours you would know when it's done because right here where it says install it says it will say finish so don't exit out to say finish you never click this button even when it's done because you have a finish button you just click finish that's when you're done so once that's done 
you should have your game right here. Don't open the game, guys. What you want to do now is open up your codex folder. Your codex folder is still inside it right here where you um, present your game after you downloaded it. Okay, let me explain this the easy way. Your codex folder is inside the same folder you installed your Xenoverse 2, see, where you did the setup. So you go inside of there, then you go inside your bin. You copy everything in here, control C, or you can just hover, hover over everything, right click, and click copy. Then you go into where you downloaded your game. Now, if you kept it the same, like I recommend it, you all you have to do is go to this PC, open up your um, files thing, program files x86, and there goes Dragon Ball Universe 2. Now you just want to open up your bin, right click, paste, or you can control and then press V. Now we are done guys. Um, another thing you can do, you just right click on this, open up your properties, and um, go to compatibility and make it run as an administrator so that way it acts you if you want to run it every time. For some reason that usually works on crack games. But after that, now you can sit back, relax, plug in your Xbox 360 or Xbox One controller and the game works with it simply, easily, like a charm. PS3, you have to get these little input files. I won't do a video on that considering I don't have a PS3 controller with me or PS4. But if you if um if you really need to just look up how to use a PS4 or a PlayStation controller on your um on your Windows 10 device or Windows PC. But here you go, just showing you this work. I got my controller plugged in immediately. You can you can't play this without a controller. Because if I'm pressing my keyboard, you should see keyboard buys show up. But I'm gonna quickly just show you that it works. See? See, works like a charm. I got a friend playing Xenoverse 2 on Steam right now. Now, the, another thing, guys, it won't, it, it don't, it doesn't let you play online. Like, so if you got somebody on Steam playing this, sorry guys, but you won't be able to play online with them. You got to play offline. But look, this shows you I already got a character and it's working very fine. I've already been playing through the game, and this isn't no fake. So I hope you guys like this video, like, subscribe, this is my second How to Get Something Free video, no, third, I did Modern Warfare 3, um, but yeah, this is my third video on How to Get Something Free, hope you guys like this video, um, DLCs, I know you guys really want that, whenever they, whenever they release a DLC, I will try to hurry up and show you guys how to put it in there, if I find out myself, but if they don't, then we got bad luck, but um, so far, we don't get Goku Black, um, cause, you know, I don't know, I don't have a reason to know, but apparently this isn't a pre-ordered version, I guess. So, no Goku Black, but that doesn't stop you from still playing the game. Hope you guys like this um, giveaway, like, subscribe, I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna sit back and relax, and um, move my mic so that way you guys can just see a little bit real quick. Oh, can't get my mic. Ah, it sucks because I accidentally cut it off. But here we go. So I'm gonna just walk around the lobby real quick and show you guys that it works. Oh wait, don't tell me when I responded. No, I was no 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 no. I accidentally right, let me wait till it reloads. This this is not normal. Um the only reason why it's doing this is because I technically tried to minimize it and click on the screen while I was trying to load, so Let's just hope it does. Cause I heard a game working. Oh yeah, there you go, it fixed. All right, so yeah, like I said, hope you guys like it. Like, subscribe, um, subscribe for gameplay videos. And um, in my next video, we'll just play a game. There we go, it's back to working. <laughs> Why didn't I respond this time? Okay. And there it goes. I'm now in Constant City.
So yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. It's your boy. You no, know, let me go ahead and do something before we go. Ew, shine, and bye.